When is the lucky year coming for all 32 NFL teams? He exploded onto the scene, claiming to be a time traveler from the year 2036. And the Jaguars have done it! Jacksonville, the Super Bowl champions! Allow us to peer into our crystal ball and spoil the future by letting you know when your favorite NFL team will win its next Super Bowl. Arizona Cardinals, 2047. It's hard to see a clear-cut path to a title given the lack of talent around Kyler Murray. But hey, good fortunes await the snake-bitten franchise in the 2040s. We can feel it. Atlanta Falcons, 2034. The guess here is that the Falcons will have found their next franchise QB within three years. It'll take some time to build a contender from there and get on par with the other top dogs in the NFC, but we can see it come. Baltimore Ravens, 2027. The Ravens have endured plenty of postseason heartbreak in the Lamar Jackson era. At this point, the bounces simply have to go their way, right? One day, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs will have a bad day in January, and the Ravens will pounce on that opportunity. With a franchise QB, a Hall of Fame head coach, and the league's best scouting group, the Ravens will be in the mix for years to come. I mean, come on, surely their next championship is coming this decade. Our guess? 2027. Buffalo Bills? 2100. Yeah, the Bills just can't have nice things, as evidenced by their constant failures to get over the AFC hump with Josh Allen and Sean McDermott. Some franchises are just permanently jinxed. And, well, the universe ain't gonna let Buffalo fans heal from their annual heartbreak in this century. Gonna have to wait for the start of next century, Bills Mafia. Have fun. Carolina Panthers, 2043. If he is still the Panthers owner by 2043, an 86-year-old David Tepper will have hopefully learned to stop being so hands-on by this point. Tepper, like Dan Snyder in Washington, is single-handedly preventing this team from properly constructing a championship contender. So hopefully within the next, I don't know, 15 or so years, he'll learn to keep his mouth shut. Let the football operations actually just do their thing, and then they will finally celebrate a title on his luxury yacht in 2043. Chicago Bears, 2032. All right, so this is going off the assumption that the Bears used the first overall pick on Caleb Williams. But it's gonna take Chicago some time to build a championship contender around his talents. Factor in the superior teams in the NFC, and yeah, it's safe to say that Bears Nation will need to wait patiently for that long-awaited second Lombardi trophy. Cincinnati Bengals, 2024. With a healthy Joe Burrow back in full force, the Bengals are the early pick here to win Super Bowl 59. The Bengals are the only AFC team capable of beating Mahomes' Chiefs in the postseason, as we saw in the 2021 AFC title game. Burrow's 3-1 record against Mahomes is further evidence that the Chiefs are beatable in the AFC. If there is one team that's going to end the Chiefs' bid at a third straight big game appearance, it's going to be those very Bengals who will go on to win next year's Super Bowl. Cleveland Browns, 2060. As the Browns aren't allowed to have nice things either, we expect expect their championship drought to be near 100 years before the group finally breaks through in 2060. Hey, sorry Browns fans, we don't make the rules, there's just some force out there that makes Cleveland football fans suffer annually. Dallas Cowboys, 2086. Stephen Jones appears to be like his father Jerry. As long as the Cowboys pile up regular season wins, they're happy. It's all that matters, not Super Bowl championships. So do not expect the Cowboys to win another title in Jerry's lifespan, and probably not even when Stephen takes over as the owner. The Cowboys' sixth Lombardi trophy will come with the third or fourth generation of the Jones family ownership. Denver Broncos, 2044. With new franchise cornerstone players and a head coach in his 60s, it's hard to see a clear path to immediate title contention for the Broncos. And with most of Denver's AFC rivals boasting young franchise QBs, uh, we just can't really see a title coming to Mile High City over the next decade. Detroit Lions, 2028. The Lions took a huge step forward in 2023, reaching their first NFC Championship game since 1991. Regardless of how you feel about Dan Campbell, it's only a matter of time until these guys break through. Green Bay Packers, 2031. We would love to pick the Packers sooner. But like we just said with the Lions entry, there's only room for one champion. The Packers have a top QB coach pairing in Jordan Love and Matt LaFleur, and the Brian Gutekunst led front office has always crushed it at the draft table. The Pack has a way to go in closing the gap with the other Super Bowl contenders across the league, but we foresee a Lombardi trophy coming their way within the next 10 years. Houston Texans, 2030. The Texans emerged as a contender much earlier than expected, as their performance in year one of the D'Amico Ryan CJ Stroud era has been phenomenal. If Houston played in the NFC, 
we would project them to win it all a little bit sooner. But I mean, all those other elite teams in the AFC need a share of the pie as well, so patience is going to be a virtue in H-Town. Indianapolis Colts, 2053. So we really like the foundation that the Colts are building with Shane Steichen and Anthony Richardson, but there really isn't enough star power or roster depth for Indy to realistically push for a Super Bowl in the near future. We're taking a bit of a shot in the dark here and guessing that the title drought will last at least another quarter century. I mean, this team still hasn't been all that great in the post Peyton Manning era. Just being realistic here. Jacksonville Jaguars, 2036. Okay, so we can see Trevor Lawrence following a similar path as Hall of Famer John Elway. Plenty of postseason heartbreak, maybe even several Super Bowl defeats, before finally breaking through at the very end of his career. If the Jaguars were a better run organization with competent ownership and front office decision makers, well, then we'd have them down for winning it all way sooner. But like Elway, Lawrence will need to go through several coaches and changes on the supporting cast before finally breaking through in 2036. Kansas City Chiefs, 2026. The Chiefs cemented themselves as a dynasty by winning Super Bowl 58, becoming the first team to repeat since the 2003 and 2004 New England Patriots. Clearly, it ain't gonna be long until they add title number four in the Patrick Mahomes Andy Reid era. Las Vegas Raiders, 2069. Mark Davis is okay with mediocrity, so we can't realistically expect a Raiders Super Bowl championship as long as he remains the owner. The Raiders are looking at more decades of misery before they finally win a fourth Super Bowl title. Los Angeles Chargers, 2110. Yeah, the Chargers are in that boat with the Bills, Browns, and Vikings as teams who just can't have nice things. We don't care how many superstars that they have in any given year. This team just finds new ways to underachieve on an annual basis. Los Angeles Angeles Rams, 2039. With Matt Stafford, Cooper Cup, and Aaron Donald getting up there in age, it's tough to see the Rams squeaking out one more Lombardi Trophy run. A painful long-term rebuild, likely without John McVay, is down the line. Fittingly enough, it'll be the 40-year anniversary of the Rams' first Super Bowl championship when they win lucky Lombardi Trophy number three in 2039. Miami Dolphins, 2033. The Dolphins have slowly but surely built a relevant team under GM Chris Greer and Tua Tagovailoa. There's plenty of competition in the AFC that'll make life hard for the Finns in ending their lengthy Super Bowl drought. But we see a scenario where they win it all with Tua, or maybe his eventual successor, early next decade. Minnesota Vikings, 2048. Why not 2048? I mean, come on, 50 years after Gary Anderson's unforgettable miss in the 1998 NFC Championship game? Yeah, this fan base has been so brutally snake-bitten that it's hard to think that they'll realistically win a Super Bowl within the next decade or two. New England Patriots, 2055. Without two goats, Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, uh, yeah, we're wishing the Patriots luck in rebuilding, especially considering all the elite QBs that they gotta deal with in the AFC. New Orleans Saints, 2035. All right, the Saints don't want to admit it, but uh, that window on this current group closed long ago. But of course, longtime GM Mickey Loomis has masterfully constructed multiple rebuilds in the Big Easy, so we don't think that the Saints' next window of opportunity is super duper far away. New York Giants, 2065. Nothing about this current Giants team screams Super Bowl contender. But hey, not to worry, Giants fans. Give it 41 more years and then you'll be celebrating again. New York Jets, 2060. 92 years after the franchise won its first Super Bowl with Joe Namath? I mean, hey, why not? The Jets really haven't done much of anything right since the 70s. If you take everything I've accomplished in my entire life and condense it down into one day, it looks decent. <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles, 2029. You know, we are still convinced that the Jalen Hurts-led Eagles are bound to win a Super Bowl eventually. While Hurts is still in his prime, he'll have delivered the Eagles that long-awaited second Super Bowl title in 2029. Pittsburgh Steelers, 2042. The Steelers are always in postseason contention, but it's been a while since they've really fielded a true Super Bowl caliber team. Without a true franchise QB in place, we're struggling to see them winning anything in a crowded AFC over the next decade. San Francisco 49ers, 2025. The 49ers have suffered two heartbreaking Super Bowl losses now in the Kyle Shanahan era. This core is just way too talented and too well coached to not win it all eventually. Seattle Seahawks, 2063. 50 years after their Super Bowl championship in franchise history? I mean, come on, why the heck not? The 2063 Seahawks bully their way to a Super Bowl title with a suffocating defense and a pure power back comparable to Marshawn Lynch. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 2038. 
having the Bucks waited 18 years between their first two Super Bowl championships. And because history and trends are kind of a funny thing, why shouldn't it be 18 years before their third title? Tennessee Titans 2040 The Titans are a bottom 10 team with these productive veterans on their roster. Look, Tennessee blew it last year by not beginning this rebuild when they had the chance. But hey, it's better late than never. Washington Commanders 2099 100 years after the stench of the Dan Snyder era began, how fitting would it be if the Commanders waited until the last year of the century to end the drought? But who do you think will win the next five Super Bowls? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.